Hi boys and girls. I have some things I wanted you to check out today. This is to go with our building unit, our study. Does anyone know what this tool might be called? Where you use this metal thing and put it into this brown and white stuff. This is called, right, wood, a nail, hammer, and it's how we build things, right? We're talking about building, and on our KWL chart, some of the questions you had, um, what you're wondering, how big can buildings get? How are they made? What are they made of? And I think that's it. I think that's all we'll answer with this story. This story is called Jack's House by Karen Manusen Beal, illustrated by Mike Wanuka. I have this poster back here. This is the house that Jack built. You'll see why later. Jack's house. So our title page tells us the name of the story again. This is Jack cruising in his cool sports car. And this is the house that Jack said he built. There it is. But here's the real story and pictures to prove it. So here's the picture of it, and you notice the rectangle we talked about in my house video, right? When you saw my house. The rectangular windows, the little squares inside the rectangular windows, right? Square sidewalk, some rectangular bricks, right? Triangular tops. This is the bulldozer that scraped the land for Jack's house. There's a cone that means caution, be safe, they're building. He's looking at the blueprints. Remember I told you before that you can draw out and um, decide what you're going to build first. Draw it out and then you can build it. This is the backhoe that dug the cellar where the land was scraped for Jack's house. I'm in my cellar right now, boys and girls. This is where I have my classroom set up for you guys. This is the cement mixer that poured the floor where the cellar was dug, where the land was scraped for Jack's house. Here it comes down the chute. Have you ever seen cement trucks? Cement trucks, as they're going down the road, this part is turning all the time to keep the cement mixed and so it doesn't harden and dry out. This is the forklift that hoisted bricks to build the walls where the floor was poured, where the cellar was dug, where the land was scraped for Jack's house. Hoisted means lifted it up so they can reach it, right? Does anybody know what he has? What's this thing? It has one wheel and then he can hold it here with the handles. Yeah, it's a wheelbarrow. This is the rack truck that delivered windows to let in light where the walls were bricked, where the floor was poured, where the cellar was dug, where the land was scraped for Jack's house. This is the boom truck that raised the shingles to the roof, where the windows were framed, where the walls were bricked, where the floor was poured, where the cellar was dug, where the land was scraped for Jack's house. Look, he's on top using a hammer. See him? This is the dump truck that hauled two trees to shade the house, where the roof was nailed, where the windows were framed, where the walls were bricked, where the floor was poured, where the cellar was dug, where the land was scraped for Jack's house. This is the van that brought the hammock, cozy and snug, where the trees were planted and roof was nailed and windows were framed and the walls were bricked, the floor was poured, the cellar was dug, the land was scraped for Jack's house. This is Jack, relaxing out back. This is the dog who did all the work. Look at his tool belt. And this is the pickup truck that carried away a patch of grass, two trees, the hammock, and Jack. Look at Jack's face. <laughs> this is the house that Max built. And now I have a short video for you uh, called The House That Jack Built. And I want to, after the video, I want to compare and contrast it. I want to decide what happened in this story in our book compared to the movie. Was it all the same? Was the movie a little different? Was the book a little different? Okay, boys and girls, so I'll be back. This is the house that Jack built. Starring in no particular order, cow, dog, cheese, cat, farmer, maiden, rat, 
Judge, <laughs> Rooster, Tattered Man, <laughs> Mystery Guest. This is the house that Jack built. This is the cheese that lay in the house that Jack built. Cheddar, smelly. Gouda, not so smelly. Swiss, a little smelly. Camembert, mm, stinky. American cheese, <laughs> yummy. Munster, sort of yucky. Brie, really stinky and gooey. Fontina, just smelly. Port Salut, smelly and stinky. This is the rat that ate the cheese that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the cat that killed the rat that ate the cheese that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the dog that worried the cat that killed the rat that ate the cheese that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the cow with the crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that killed the rat that ate the cheese that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the maiden all forlorn that milked the cow with the crumpled horn, that tossed the dog, that worried the cat, that killed the rat, that ate the cheese that lay in the house that Jack built. The maiden. <laughs> From the day that she was born, whether night or early born, <laughs> she couldn't help but be forlorn. <laughs> This is the man, all tattered and torn, that kissed the maiden all forlorn, that milked the cow with the crumpled horn, that tossed the dog, that worried the cat, that killed the rat, that ate the cheese that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the judge, all shaven and shorn that married the man all tattered and torn, that kissed the maiden all forlorn, that milked the cow with the crumpled horn, that tossed the dog, that worried the cat, that killed the rat, that ate the cheese that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the rooster that crowed in the morn, that waked the judge all shaven and shorn, that married the man all tattered and torn, that kissed the maiden all forlorn, that milked the cow with the crumpled horn, that tossed the dog, that worried the cat, that killed the rat, that ate the cheese that lay in the house that Jack built. The Rooster by Little Red Hen. <laughs> when I hear that awful crow, that is when I surely know I am awake from head to toe. This is the farmer planting his corn that kept the rooster that crowed in the morn that waked the judge all shaven and shorn that married the man all tattered and torn that kissed the maiden all forlorn that milked the cow with the crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that killed the rat that ate the cheese that lay in the house that Jack built. Dear Jack, please don't forget that the farmer is the one who feeds us all. Yours truly, S. And this is the artist who first had drawn a picture of the farmer planting his corn that kept the rooster that crowed in the morn, that waked the judge all shaven and shorn, that married the man all tattered and torn, that kissed the maiden all forlorn, that milked the cow with the crumpled horn, that tossed the dog, that worried the cat, that killed the rat, that ate the cheese, that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the house that Jack built, a favorite rhyme for children for several centuries. It was first published in 1755 
and probably derived from an ancient Hebrew chant in the 16th century. It was illustrated by Randolph Caldecott in 1878.